In question 5 of this exercise, the problem statement says the points P, Q, R, S, T, U, A and B on the lumber, number line are such that T, R equal to R, S equal to S, U. So if you observe uh, the number line figure, if you observe this part of the number line, we are told that T, R equal to R, S equal to S, U and then we are told that A, P is equal to P, Q is equal to Q, B. So in this part of the number line, the three segments AP, PQ and QB, they are also equal. Now, based on this information, we have to name the rational numbers represented by P, Q, R and S. So P and Q are um, these two points, P and Q, and then R and S are these two points here. So we have to determine the rational numbers represented by these four points. P, Q, R and S. Now we see that P and Q, they lie between 2 and 3 because A is 2 and B is 3. So P and Q lie between 2 and 3 and divide this interval into 3 equal parts. Similarly, we see that R and S, they lie between minus 2 and minus 1 and they divide this interval into 3 equal parts as well. Since each interval is being divided into 3 equal parts, Let's write the integers at the end points of these intervals as rational numbers with denominator 3. So we can write minus 2 as minus 6 by 3 and we can write minus 1 as minus 3 by 3. Correct? Similarly, we can write 2 as 6 by 3 and we can write 3 as 9 by 3. So we have written these integers as equivalent rational numbers with denominator 3. Now let's determine P and Q. Since A, this point here is 6 by 3 and B, which is this point here is 9 by 3. And P and Q divide this interval from A to B into 3 equal parts. We see that P must be equal to 7 by 3 and Q must B, uh, Q must represent 8 by 3. So let's write this, these observations. So P represents 7 by 3 and Q represents 8 by 3. Okay. And similarly, let's determine what R and S represent. So R and S, they divide the interval between U and T into three equal parts. And since u is minus 6 by 3 and t represents minus 3 by 3, therefore s must be minus 5 by 3 and r must be minus 4 by 3. Okay, so let's write this as well. We must have r representing minus 4 by 3 and s it represents minus 5 by 3. So these are the answers for this question. P represents 7 by 3, Q represents 8 by 3, R represents minus 4 by 3 and S represents minus 5 by 3. So with this, we have completed question number 5. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.